In this video, we'll be talking about optimizing shapes in two dimensions. Optimization uh, means finding values that make a given quantity the greatest or sometimes the least given certain conditions. We'll look at a few examples of this in the video. Let's try this investigation. Let's say you have 24 centimeters of string and we want to know what the largest rectangular area that we can enclose with the string. Keyword rectangular. So I can imagine taking my string and arranging it into some sort of rectangle and then calculating the area of that rectangle that I've made. But there's many different shapes of rectangles that I could make that would all enclose different areas. So I could have a rectangle that very, very low width and a very long length. I could have a rectangle where the length and the width is almost the same. I could reverse this and have a very tall, but very narrow rectangle. And I'm finding the area of all these shapes. And one of them will have the biggest area. And we need to figure out which one. So let's try this. Still with that 24 centimeters of string, what's the largest area we can enclose? Well, let's imagine that I take a rectangle that has a width of 1. And some length so that when I find the length and the width, they all add up together to give me a perimeter of 24. So my perimeter of this rectangle is 2 length plus 2 width. I know my perimeter needs to be 24. And I've already figured out that my width is 1, just arbitrarily made it 1. I can solve this equation. And when I divide 22 by 2, I get a length of 11. So here's one possible rectangle, length of 1, width that is 11. This has a perimeter of 24. I can calculate the area by doing length times width. So 1 times 11. This particular rectangle would have an area of 11 centimeters squared. But again, that's not the only rectangle I can make. I can make another rectangle that has a width of 2 on both sides. And a length that, well, let's see if I can solve for the length. 24 equals 2 times the length plus 2 times 2. 24 equals 2 times the length, plus 4, rearranging and solving for the length, I should end up with a length of 10. And again, finding the area, width times length, or length times width, 2 times 10 is 20 centimeters squared. So now I've made two different rectangles that have two different dimensions same perimeter but different areas. So let's keep going. I'll make a rectangle with a width of 3. Okay, looking more like a square as I go. Well I'm noticing a pattern here I think. I don't know if I need to keep doing this equation to solve for the length. I'll do it one more time just to make sure the pattern holds. I get 18 equals 2 times the length or a length of 9. So if I have a width of 3 and a length of 9, my perimeter still is 24. 3 times 9 gives me an area of 27 centimeters squared. Well, let's keep doing this. Let's follow the pattern. 
If I increase the width by one, I notice that my length is decreasing by one. My perimeter is still 24. Eight times four is 32 centimeters squared. Still following this pattern. Increase the length, the width by one, decrease the length by one. Perimeter is still 24. Here my area would be five times seven or 35 centimeters squared. And continuing with this pattern, let's see what happens. Side lengths are six and six, so now I've created a square. So my six by six rectangle is really a square. Six times six. 36 centimeters squared. And now, continuing the pattern, my width is 7, my length is 5, perimeter is still 24, but my area isn't increasing anymore. Notice that as I move down the table, my area is increasing, 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 gets to 36, and now it's going to start to drop. 8 times 4. 32 and I could fill in the rest of the table down to a width of 11 and a length of 1 but I would still see my area dropping so the largest rectangular area I can enclose is 36 centimeters squared and I can do this when the dimensions are 6 by 6 or I've made a square. Let's try another investigation but let's change the problem up a little bit. Let's say you need to fence a field that will have fences on three sides and will have a river on the fourth side. Let's see if I can draw this. Here's my river. The waves. I'm going to put fences on three of the sides because the field is touching the river. I only need to fence three sides. So this changes things a little bit. If I have 32 meters of fencing, what's the biggest field I can close? Well, again, I could imagine my river. I could make a field that's very, very narrow. I could make a field that's really long and thin. Or I could make something in between. How do I figure out the biggest possible field I can enclose? Starting with something that is very narrow and going up to something that's kind of rectangular. Well, we'll try the same exercise here. Here my perimeter equation for a field that has a width of 1 and a length of unknown, but a perimeter of 32, is going to be the two widths that I've shown here. But now I only need one length because I'm not fencing in that fourth side. So here, if I know the width is 1. And I know my perimeter is 32. That gives me a length of 30. So perimeter is 32. Length is 30. Area, again, length times width, would be 30 meters squared. I change the width to 2. Does that change my length? No, 32 is equal to 4 plus the length, or 32 minus 4, which is 28, that equals the length. So here, again, my perimeter is still 32. 
my area, 2 times 28 is going to be 56 meters squared. Let's keep doing this. Looks like my pattern is telling me to go down by twos in the length column. Let's just verify that. 32 equals 2 times the width. In this case, the width is 3 plus the length. 32 equals 6 plus the length. 32 take away 6 is 26. And the area when my dimensions are 3 and 26 is 78 meters squared. So if my width following this pattern is 4, my length will be 24. 4 times 24 gives me an area of 96 meters squared with that same perimeter of 32. width of 5 and a length of 22. Gives me an area of 110. Why don't you fill in the table the rest of the way. And let's see if we can figure out what our maximum area is. So compare your table with mine. I've stopped around a width of 12 and a length of 8 because I've found my maximum area. My maximum area is 128 meters squared when the width is 8 and the length is 16. What do you notice about the length and the width in this scenario? What's the relationship between the length and the width? Do you notice that the length is double the width? Well, let's finish this question first. The biggest field we can enclose is 128 meters squared. And that's the biggest field. And this happens when the dimensions are 8 by 16. And you all should have noticed that here for this optimized field the length is double the width. So it looks like we have two rules from this that we can summarize. When enclosing four sides of a rectangle, the maximum area is a square, where our length equals our width. When we're enclosing three sides of a shape, so maybe we have a river or a barn on one side, the maximum area is a rectangle whose length is exactly double the width, or length equals two times the width.